we're checking out the latest gaming phone from Red Magic. And as usual, we have a bunch of them to give away as well. In fact, there's six units in total. For your chance to win, just leave your Twitter handle in the comments below and somebody, six of you, will be selected at random. What is special about this device? Oh, I don't know. How about a 165 hertz display? I believe it is a first. It is my first exposure to that level of refresh, which of course this is exciting for gamers, people who want the tightest, fastest input. Actually, the touch sampling is 500 hertz on a touch refresh rate, which is pretty wild. Now I've got a couple of other items in front of me. This is the dual core cooler. This is a cooling device that fits onto the smartphone to keep it cool during those extended gaming sessions. And then there's also a wireless gaming earbud, which is included as well in my, in my setup over here. So, all right, first up, so we have so many phones competing for that champion status at the moment. And Red Magic is coming in with an impressive spec sheet itself. And just like in the past, we have this kind of gamer aesthetic on the exterior of the box. All right, so here is the phone, first and foremost. And let me just peel that out real quick. So this is a beast. Obviously, the scale of it, uh, that's kind of the purpose with these gaming phones. It's all about multimedia. It's all about uh, gaming. And so you're going to spend a lot of time in landscape mode here. You can get a sense for those trigger buttons as well. And what's kind of nice here is there's a spot for you to rest your finger without actually activating the trigger button, shoulder button itself. So you can kind of leave your finger up here and then tap on demand. Those are touch-based buttons. Here you can see the fan as well as your power switch in that location there. We have a headphone jack, which this is not a thing you're finding on every gaming phone. Sometimes you need to use an adapter. Certainly people who play in any competitive manner want to have a wired headset in there. Volume rocker on the other side, another grill for the fan, and then we have this dedicated gaming switch in red, which is textured, which will send you into the game-specific mode of the device. On the bottom, USB Type-C connector, speaker unit, and also your SIM tray. Another thing I'm noticing here is that we have this kind of special carved aspect to the frame. So it kind of like dives in a little bit here, and it just, I, I guess when you're holding it, it kind of gives you a little bit more feedback for your finger for grip, which is kind of cool. That's an interesting thought. Front of the device, you can see your front facing camera over there. And then on the rear, you obviously find out quickly that you're dealing with a gaming phone. Red Magic identifier in the center, powered by Nubia. We're gonna have some RGB elements. Look at that, the flash cutout is actually a triangle. Here is your camera module. Now, of course, it has to have a camera. It is a smartphone after all, but the main focus here is on the gaming, as you're well aware. And another thing to note, this Tencent Games logo, that's gonna be specific to the Chinese variant of this device. So if you buy the global version, you will not have that logo there. Let's see which power brick I have here for mine. So I've got the 30 watt power brick in the package here, but as mentioned earlier, it can handle up to 66 watts for fast charge, which this is stuff you kind of want to know on these phones. Uh, after all, there's a lot of power consumption with gaming and they have big batteries in them. Like we're talking about 5,050 milliamp hour battery in there. So if you're not fast charging, it's gonna take a real long time to fill it up. And look at that, the type C cable in black and red, which kind of, brings through the whole aesthetic here with the gaming and their logo. They have a black and red thing going on. Last up, we got a little bit of paperwork and a SIM tool also included in the package. So they call it the Red Magic Dual Core Cooler. I have experimented with their coolers in the past on a previous generation, and I was surprised to see that it actually had an effect. I was curious about these things, like how effective they would be but there's a little bit more that goes into them. So a lot of it does depend on the layout of the phone to begin with. 
and how optimized it is to interact with the cooler as far as the contact point that's being made. But as you can tell, it's a spring-loaded attachment like this, and it's a dual fan setup over here. Now, where is this getting power? So it's a Type-C connector down at the bottom. See how this goes? It's going to fit in here like this. Spring-loaded down to the bottom. Yeah, something like this right here, and then your Type-C cable is going to fit in here. Actually, they give you another one. So let's see if there's anything special about this one. So you end up with two. The cooler will give you one, and you get one with the phone. So you keep this for charging. This one, on the other hand, is going to fit into here, and then into the phone. And you can see immediately, the RGB lights up and the fans begin to spin. Now there is gonna be some audio that comes with it, which you should be able to hear here, but it's fairly subtle. So what's the advantage of keeping the device cool? Why is cooling important on a gaming phone? Well, gaming obviously heats up the device. If your device gets too hot, then it will actually start to throttle the performance in game. So the goal here is to keep the temperature down so you can maintain performance even in those longer gaming sessions. I believe this is the first time they've done this, or I don't, I can't remember if I've been sent earbuds in the past from Red Magic, but they've gone ahead here and included the TWS gaming earbuds. I see that it says Bluetooth 5.0, also says low latency, so they've considered it as a gaming headset. 20 hour battery life. You can tell that the case here has very similar styling to the branding, right? They've made it aggressive and stealth-like with angles on it. A Type-C connector on the back. This door opens up. Ooh, we have some lights on the inside. And these are the earbuds. So it actually has an ear hook on it as well for security purposes. So it's like the tip and then this portion, which fits, fits into the cartilage of your ear. And I don't know if these also light up, let's see. So that's what they look like when they're charging up. You just close that down. Now there are other ear tips included, as you can see. So there's a replacement pair over there. And then you also have a type C, tiny little type C cable to charge up the whole package. So let's talk about the specs first up. A reminder, 165 hertz display, 6.8 inches FHD plus. That's going to be pretty smooth. 500 hertz touch sampling for your inputs. Snapdragon 888 with dual mode 5G. So that's the processor you probably want too. Uh, 400 hertz built-in shoulder trigger buttons. So these are key on these gaming phones. Lets you map out different sections for your trigger inputs, obviously. And, and that just lets you keep your thumbs on the screen, moving around, shifting. It's going to improve your gameplay. 5,050 milliamp hour battery and up to 66 watt quick charge. Now the charger that I have in this box is 30 watts, so it's going to depend on what region you're in, uh, which charger you get in the package. However, you're able to charge up to 66 watts on a fast charge. Now there's many features in here, gamer centric, including a little bit of RGB lighting, couple different animations for the fingerprint unlocker in there as well. The resolution of this display 2400 by 1080 and the aspect ratio is 20 by nine. It is an AMOLED display with 630 nits of max brightness. When it comes time to recharge the device, they call it Neo Charge, and that's what you're seeing inside the video here. Uh, check out that animation. That's one of my favorites I've ever seen. It's cool, a little electricity floats up in perfect RGB. This is the new Red Magic 5G. Look at the unboxing experience. My goodness. Cyborg status over here. Now the sound test there kind of speaks for itself. If you're wondering about RAM capacity, that's 12 gigabytes. Storage is 128. 
and the cameras. Yeah, these gaming phones still have cameras on them. Here we're looking at 64 megapixels on the main unit, then 8 megapixels and 2 megapixels on the extra cameras. You can shoot video up to 8K at 30 frames per second and then 4K at higher frame rates. There's also slow motion built in. So yeah, you got cameras, but that's not really the core focus here. Oh, and by the way, those headphones, yeah, they do light up as well, not just the case. Now, if you're curious about that cooling fan, it is an area of air duct at 4,000 millimeters squared. How about that for specifics? So clipping on the cooling fan is actually pretty simple. It is spring loaded, as I mentioned previously, and there's a little tiny cutout on each side so that it doesn't accidentally press the buttons that are in the area where you have it. As far as powering it, you can power it from the phone, but you can also power it independently if you prefer. Boom. Game mode enabled. You can hear the fan kick up, which is key. I'm, wow, it's so loud as well, the speakers, holy. So this is one of those games where you can actually realize a higher frame rate than something like 60. Uh, a lot of games are locked at 60 max. Some of them are even 30, which is not great for a gaming phone. But look, check out this game right here. I mean, it's, it's pulling like... 140 FPS on a display that's 165 Hertz capable. So it is it is absolutely butter when you sit in front of it. Of course, the video you're watching can't really display it depending on the equipment. But then again, we're shooting these videos in 30 frames. So you're not gonna really appreciate it. It's the kind of thing you gotta sit in front of. But uh, these gaming phones have made some major leaps as far as smoothness is concerned and therefore the immersion into the game because it has smoothness. So there you have it, the latest entry into the gaming smartphone wars. This is the new Red Magic 6.